Welcome back guys, another episode of Swanee and Jake. Now today is a big episode because I was on a Bucks party a couple of weeks ago in South Australia in Adelaide, former city I lived in and as Sorry all, about that. Yeah, as all Bucks party goes, you know, I ended up on a bit of a Larry Ender and one of the boys there threw me a seltzer and I looked at the seltzer and I was like, what the f is this? And it was called South Avenue Seltzer and they were going down an absolute treat. So me being me, I actually contacted the brand and said, hey, we'd love to try a few of them because my good mate over here, Swanee, is the king of the taste test, a strong palate, and he gives the hard, hard-nosed opinions on what he thinks of uh, the alcoholic drinks. So they I use... brought these along for you. Thanks, mate. They use swear words on their packaging. Yeah, I know. So I like them already. Yeah, they're, they've got some really good branding. But one of the best parts about uh, today as well, because we're going to go through all the five flavors they have, is they've given us a bit of a mystery can here that's got a question mark and it says, What the f do we have here? So we actually don't know Find what's out. in it, but it is going to be coming to stores very soon. So do keep an eye on it. And uh, yeah, we'll crack open a few and start trying them now, shall we? Thanks, Jake. We have South Avenue Lightly Sparkling Hard Seltzer. I'm not sure I could say that five times fast. But <laughs> not after a few of them. No, certainly not. But what I do read on the packaging, which I don't mind, electrolytes, so. Zero sugar, too. No, well, I'm not fussed about that. Well, but it's yeah. pretty but much yeah, in but short. It's for, as good for, as the, for all the, the pretty people out there that care about their figure, um, yeah. zero sugar and 90 calories. They're as healthy as a Gatorade, in short. Uh, so, so, so should AFL, so AFL clubs use more <laughs> Maybe training? Maybe so, South Al, give, give them a shout That's the healthiest Gatorade. So the first flavor we're trying here is the grape flavor. So let's give it a crack. I like that. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I'm a grape flavor in general, but that is, um, that's a f***ing treat. That, and I don't say this lightly, that may be the best thing to come out of South Australia. Yeah, that. <laughs> which is, um, <laughs> Which is obviously not saying much. So <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a pump up for the brand or not, but it's obviously not saying a great deal. Oh, well, but um, legitimately, they are pretty good. Eh? I think that well, this is obviously our number one for the start because that's the first one. So lemon. Um, I, I'm not lemon doesn't really usually do it for me, is but this we'll like see. A lemon lime soda. I don't know. It says not drink it if you're pregnant. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got. I think I'm pregnant. Yeah, you've got a. You've got it's a, a funny few, world we live in. You've got a few on the way. Yeah, that, that tastes very, very similar to your, your UDL. Like vodka lime soda. Long, yeah. That is for the uh, the plain Jane seltzer drinker. That's going to drink a lot of those. Yeah, that's just. I think that's just your stock sound. You could drink that all day with no yeah, issues. Yeah, I could. I, I could. If I drank one of them, I could drink fifteen yeah, and not yeah. have to change to another drink. Well, yeah, the flavour won't, you know, knock your dick off. But mm. um, but you could drink them all day. Knock your dick off. Like, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that might be but cool. it's, um, South Avenue seltzer. Knock your dick off. Maybe they should put that on your yeah. cans. Uh, next flavour is, do you, know how to, do you know how to pronounce that? Lychee. Lychee. Are you, are you a lychee man? No, I'm not actually. Yeah. I'm, I'll be honest. Do you, do you ever eat lychees in everyday no. life apart from when they're in a market? No, no, I wouldn't even know what they, what do you eat, no, what do you I, eat them with? I would only, I didn't even know you could buy them to eat them outside of a market. Listen, I don't know, but I can't imagine they're strictly on this earth for <laughs> martini purposes. <laughs> I'd imagine a lychee would have a different purpose <laughs> than just being stuck in martinis, but. If anyone, any of our listeners are eating lychees on their own, please let us know why. They go in salads, maybe. If you're okay, I mean. Do they go in salads? Have you ever heard of a lychee salad? Oh, it's a distinct smell as soon as I've opened that can. Um, it's still pretty good though. It's not a really strong like hit of lychee. It's an odd flavour at the start. Yeah, it's it hits your lychee and then it just smooths off into like. Listen, I'm, listen. I'm, if you like lychees, I'm sure you'd love that. Maybe lychees are popular in South Australia, that's why there's a surplus of lychee in South Australia, that's why they're... Quote of the it. day, but the best thing um, to come out of South, of South Australia is... Uh, the grape flavour, yeah. Well, so far they've all been pretty good. So far good, yeah. Lychee yeah. fans, you'll love that one, but that's not my, that's not my cup of tea. So, uh... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that, a, that was the lychee. That's a, <laughs> Wait, that was so, the lychee. It's not my fault. I'm it's not going to lie, one of the... Uh, it's so carbonated. One of the it's the electrolytes. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. And the zero sugar. It's the Gatorade. And the 90 calories all going through me. Zero sugar, good for your soul. Yeah. One of the ones that the very popular on the box was the sour watermelon. You a so, sour fan? You sweet or sour? I'm a sweet guy, but the sour watermelon... I mean, sweet. mind you, look, I was You're in a different sweet. stratosphere at this time of the day, yeah. so... Yeah. Anything was going down well, but this was a popular choice, sour watermelon, so... I'm interested to get your take on this one out of all of them, to be honest. That just takes me back to a bad place on that Bucks party, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it's alright. It's 
It's watermelon. Do you taste the sour? Well, not particularly, no. No, they're all, I could, I would legitimately drink these no problems um, in summer and winter if I was yeah. having a drink. I like the sour watermelon. You can feel the watermelon. The sour doesn't really hit you as hard, but. No, they're very, they're very good. Very good. Very good. We have Chris Bass. <laughs> How many South Abs have I had? <laughs> He's trying to get me drunk. They're 4.3% um, alcohol. alcohol. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to get me drunk. Crisp apple, can't even say it. Um, <laughs> yeah, fun fact, at least this is a crisp apple. Fun fact, apple is my favourite fruit. Is it? Yeah. We know my issues with fruit, which we haven't, yeah, so we haven't done yet. Well, I'm sure it'll happen. I like mandarins, but um, you know I'm burn eating a mandarin. A mandarin out. <laughs> but, um, it's our watermelon got a hold of me. You start to learn actually Dane signs a good bloke after he's had a beer, so... Well, when I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah. Crisp apple, let's go. Yeah, that's that's right up my alley. I, I, oh, I'm a crisp apple man. Very good. I would prefer to drink these yeah. than the UDL on a session. UDLs is... The thing that's different with these two UDLs for me is the fizz. Not as yeah. much fizz in this as there is in a UDL, which uh, is... I think they'd punish your teeth more with the colouring and stuff like that. Correct, um, yeah, you have those yellow tongues and red yeah, tongues. You, can, you, yeah. you could drink more of these, no problems. I think it might be as f the next day because of all the sugar and stuff that you, you that go into your body from the UDLs. These are made just, have just a good time, but you feel better the next day drinking these. These are, genu these are genuinely made for the bender. They're very Moorish and you could keep going on them uh, even when you've had quite a few. Yeah, no, that's crisp I can't speak again. Crisp apple. We should make that a say, just like get him to say words back to back. I'm not good with words, which you kind of need in life, don't you? Yeah. Um, but no, but, but they, that's good. So this is a mystery can. No idea what's on it, but um, there's a warning on the label. Consuming this will make you want to party. Drink with caution. Well, I have to go home and babysit my child, so I'm not sure I want to do much partying tonight. But Usually consuming anything of alcoholic makes me want to party. I honestly, yeah, we don't know what is in this. This is, um, well, thank you obviously South Ab for, for sending these, but we have no fucking clue what's awesome. in this. Well, thanks for sending Jake some. Any danger of sending me some? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, they sent them to me to, for you to try, well, so. so. Give me some. I actually like them. Oh, let's all right, let's do this. Have a sniff first, and then let's call call the flavour. Have a I'm sniff first, he says. Uh, my nose, it's been a big carnival. My nose ain't working. <laughs> oh, this one seems to have a bit more. Is this got no? It's got zero sugar too. This one seems to have like a lot more. Like a colory flavour to I've it. I've got absolutely no idea, is my short answer. I've just drank six different yeah. flavours. Like a blueberry? Is it blue, like bluish feel? Maybe. That is fucking, honestly, that is delightful. That is like. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what flavour is. I've got I'd no idea. I baptise my child with this. Mm. Well, I'm not religious, so. Um, either, I've got my doubts about God. I'm not sure he's a real, but. Yeah, well, I've never met him. That's a story for another day. I've never, I've never met the bloke, but if he's. I've got my doubts. I've got a theory, though. If he, if he is there, he's either not that powerful or yeah, not that yeah, nice, exactly, Dave. So. Yeah. It'd be good, it'd be good on Maybe a test with it. Maybe South Ave. Just to lighten up a bit. <laughs> oh, if he turned up, we'd know he was a real. <laughs> um, he could run on water for us, couple party tricks. <laughs> yeah, bloody oh. Just he come could, to he a He could turn all our water into South Ave drinks, we wouldn't have to pay for him. Imagine if. We don't really know what the flavour is. Swanee couldn't I'm even idiot, he so couldn't even give idiot, a guess to it. Well, yeah, going off um, some of your challenges, you proved mm. you proved your worth of your intelligence. But give us your sort of say on what flavour you think it is, uh, because we have no idea. About. What are your favourites before I get out of here and try and drive home? My my three favourites were grape, crisp apple, and the sour watermelon. Mine would be the grape and the crisp apple for flavour and the lemon because I think I could drink the most of them without... That's actually a really good point. Yeah. So he always thinks strategically, I just think off the one drink. He's thinking Bender, and I'm thinking just the flavour of the initial touch. Yep, there you go, South Avenue, South, South Australia. Thank you so much for sending best me out to Best thing ever come out of South Australia. Uh, one of the best Bucks much, parties but... ever, and it wasn't because of the blokes there, it was because of this drink, so uh, get around and give them a try.